And here's Anakin without his poncho. This one's actually my favorite. I really, really appreciate this figure a lot more without the poncho. It just looks great. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and today I'll be going over another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Today we've got Anakin Skywalker in peasant disguise. I've only got one Anakin at the moment, but other than that, I can't set up a better display for you guys. So most we can do is appreciate this card, crack open Anakin, and take a closer look at him. But you can see the package is straight out of Attack of the Clones. It looks like he's thinking in deep thoughts about Padme. Or maybe his mother when he runs back to Tatooine, which was a pretty epic scene. I remember seeing that in theaters, and he just plowed down those sand people, and it was just mind-blowing. But you can see in the package, Anakin looks great. You could leave this on card and display it just fine. He has VC-32. You can see the wave there on the top. There's the UPC, a bunch of choking hazards on the back, but without further ado, boom, Anakin Skywalker in peasant disguises out of the package, and he does deal wield his blade, so if you guys are interested in doing that, you definitely can out of the package. It's really tricky to get his poncho to display correctly, but I bet if you just squeezed it up a little bit and made it a little bit rougher, you could actually put it in some unique poses, but overall, I'm really digging the figure. Definitely glad I picked it up. Let me put him in another pose. Here's Anakin without his poncho. This one's actually my favorite. I really, really appreciate this figure a lot more without the poncho. It just looks great. It actually does what action figures should do. It makes me want to watch Attack of the Clones, which is absolutely awesome. But what do you guys think? Do you like it with the poncho or without the poncho? I think it's a great figure. I know it's just a repack and supposedly a fan channel exclusive, but I'm definitely excited to have this to my collection. So previously, this was my only Anakin right here that I've had for the Vintage Collection, which I think is an incredible looking figure. If you want to see the review on the channel on that one, feel free to do so. I'll probably post a link at the end of this video. You can see both head molds. Actually, I like this one a lot better if they were to use this face. I mean, look at that. It looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and put... Revenge of the Sith Anakin away. Well, that's more like the Clone Wars Anakin, wasn't it? I think that looks great. I like this little hair piece. It's nice and soft and bendable. You can see you can tweak it any direction. And I really like the collar detail underneath and you can also see his neck under there looks cool. The hair on the back looks sweet. The detail on this looks pretty cool, too. It's just a bunch of random designs. I don't know if anybody knows anything about the detail on there. I think it's just... It doesn't look like peasant clothes. It looks more like rich people clothes. But I gather from the picture on the box art, it looks like a bunch of rags there and stuff. There's a little belt on the side, and again, you can see the little hole. Let's go ahead and try to stick Anakin's lightsaber in there and it is the same as his other one let's pop it in and see how that looks so yeah it does pop in there really really nice and snug so you don't have to worry about that his arms look really good shows a lot of wrinkling going on in there his hand you can see the bone structure which looks super cool and possible veins there is no hinge on the hand I really like how these blades look like they're igniting right there. It looks super cool. Beautiful blue, translucent, but that looks great. The legs are straight out of a 5 POA, but there is nice rotation in the knee. And they do bend pretty good too. He kicks up about that high. Kicks back super far, obviously he's going to. The head looks down to about there. Looks up relatively good. He does show some emotion. So I do have a Padme 3.75 inch black series, which I may open. The elbows, a nice hinge in there. They pop up to about there. There's rotation in the elbow and there's rotation in the hand. I personally think the face looks pretty good. 
especially for 3.75 inch. I can't wait to see Ahsoka. This is gonna look great. They showed off IG-11 recently. That looks absolutely amazing. And of course, Darth Maul. Everybody's been waiting for that Maul figure. The boots actually look the same as the Clone Wars, but they're different. Notice how the pant like comes down over the leg. That's really cool. Putting his poncho back on. Looks like he would just slide it over. And it still looks good. It's not like Darth Maul's where it is all jaggy on the edges. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do with this. Do you just cut them or you just leave them as is? I think I'm going to be leaving mine as is. I'm not quite at the customizing point yet. But the poncho looks pretty cool. Thanks for checking out today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.